Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be seeing what is the least amount of RAM Windows XP can be run on. If you remember a few months ago, I did a video testing what is the least amount of RAM Windows 8.1 could run on. Then, a few months later, I did a video on how much RAM Windows 10 could run on. In this video, we're going to be testing a very old operating system. Windows XP didn't require a lot of RAM in its prime, and I definitely believe that we're going to be able to run this on less than 64 megabytes. Not entirely sure, but that's just my prediction. Um, so right now for the virtual machine, just some variables that we have here. We're running Windows XP Home SP3 um, with a Core i7-10700K, one core or one core virtualized. And right now we're at 512 megabytes of RAM, which is the default RAM that VMware Pro picked for me. And right now with the 512 megabytes, everything is fully functional, just as you would expect on a Windows XP computer. Th that window lag is simply from the virtual machine. Um, but I've had Windows XP run perfectly fine on 512 megabytes. Everything is uh, very snappy here, and it just works. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut down the virtual machine here and we're going to cut the RAM in half. So we're gonna go down to 256 megabytes, and then we're going to see uh, what happens with that. Obviously, I still think the computer is gonna work at 256 megabytes. However, how well is it gonna run? So here we are, we're gonna slash this in half straight down to 256, and then click OK. We're gonna go ahead and turn this back on. All right, here we are back inside of Windows XP, and exactly like I predicted, we are, we've we booted, and the UI seems pretty stable right now. Um, nothing too weird happening here. Some things I've noticed, like I said, they are a little bit slow. But taking a look at my computer, it's not loading. Oh, that was weird. The whole computer just flashed black. But here we are. We are Windows XP. So this is our task manager here. Um, we're actually not using too much RAM. Um, CPU usage is at 0%. Um, so, yeah, like I predicted, Windows XP, it's obviously not going to run very well at this amount of RAM, but I believe uh, it's still possible. So we're going to turn it off again, and we are going to go straight to 128 megabytes of RAM. All right, so here we are back in virtual machine settings. Let's go ahead and slice this down to 128. This is the guest OS recommended minimum. So this is like the bare minimum according to VMware Workstation. So let's go ahead and see what happens at this rate. All right, so we've just booted up with 128 megabytes of RAM. Um, something weird, uh, the full screen 1920 by 1080 resolution has gone away. VMware Tools is not running, and we have a weird glitch. The virtual machine could not be changed to the selected monitor layout, um, and our graphics here um, <laughs> are uh, a little bit interesting. Uh, now remember, this is 100 and what? I don't. Uh, yep, Windows Task Manager. Now this is 128 megabytes of RAM. I would love to be able to show that, but obviously I can't. Uh, this could be a computer side thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I Okay, we're going to have to force shut this down. That's really weird. Um, that's also really concerning. Um, let's go, instead of cutting it down to 64, let's just go down to, let's just say 96. All right, here we are back in Windows XP, and we are actually functioning. Uh, we don't have a weird display glitch. We don't have the full HD resolution. It's still windowed. VMware Tools is not running, um, Not probably because there's not enough RAM here. But if we open this up, we can... Up. Oh, there we go. It has just had its little graphical problem once again. Um, and this time, I can't... Oh something bad is happening right now um, we are currently running up oh, and there she goes 96 megabytes of RAM and we've just crashed Windows XP I wonder if this has anything to do with VMware tools alright so let's go ahead and I know we're gonna bump this up actually let's just give it that much I don't really care we just need to be we just need to have enough RAM to boot into the operating system and uninstall VMware tools 
All right, so as VMware Tools is uninstalling, we're getting a ton of new hardware wizards. Um, I expected that. But now that we're finishing up on the uninstall, uh, let's go ahead and just shut down the machine. And let's go back to 100 and... Sorry. Now that VMware Tools is uninstalled from the machine, we're almost done, whatever it's doing. Let's shut us down and let's go back to 92 and just kind of see if we can actually get 92 to work all right so just like expected um our because there's no vmware tools our resolution is extremely low um first off let's just go ahead and see if we can just change that here just turn it up a little bit maybe even a little bit more all right so we are running at 1024 by 768 and as far as i can tell vmware tools was indeed our problem that's why we were crashing. So right now we are running with 92 megabytes of RAM. Um, here's our task manager here. We're not doing, eh, we're not doing too good. We're not doing too bad. So let's go ahead and shut down now that we know that we fixed our problem. And let's go to 64. I have not a very good feeling about 64 megabytes. All right, check disk really wants to run, um, but I don't think we need to run check disk here. That's not sounding too good, but we are running 64 megabytes of RAM. It's really trying to install new hardware, but I think that's the least of its concerns right now. So here we are, 10700K with 64 megabytes of RAM. Let's not go down to 32 just yet. Let's try 40A. Actually, you know what? Why not? Well, let's just go straight to 32. I do not think this is going to boot. If this boots, um, I will be a little bit concerned. So we've been here for a while. We're still waiting at the welcome screen, but up uh, that, it, oh. That hurts to listen to. So we're at our desktop, not very uh, well. We're not running here very well. Um, oh yeah, just look at that. It's, uh, this is not running very well. Um, Let's go ahead and attempt to open Task Manager. So it is using page file, it looks like, which, I mean, whatever. So I'm not thinking we're going to get my computer to open up here. It's taking quite a long time. So let's go ahead and just close out Windows Task Manager. Um, I, I can get that screenshot after the video. Let's just force turn off our host. And let's... Why am I doing this? 24 megabytes of RAM. 24. If this boots, I don't think this is going to boot. Oh, yep. 24. 24 is the not, it will not boot because the BIOS is not ACPI compatible. So, we lie in between 24 and 32. So let's try 28. We can only go in increments of 4, so we can go 36, 28, 24. 24 doesn't work, 32 does, so our only thing left to try is 26. So it looks like Windows is indeed starting at 28 megabytes of RAM. 28! Oh my. What have we done? Alright, so we're at the desktop. There we go. When 32 megabytes of RAM is the least amount of RAM that we can get Windows XP to successfully boot on. We were able to get a boot on 28 megabytes, but we just saw it blue screened and it refused. And so with that being said, 32. Now what practical use does Windows XP on 32 megabytes serve in 2021? It doesn't. So I highly don't recommend trying this at all. I mean, this is just really stupid. But um, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even learned something about Windows XP. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.